Yeah, hi YouTube. I just had to come on here to complain again because I, for one, have no patience for incompetence or for people who just aren't like fully together with it, like on it, you know what I mean? Like sharp, on it. There's just so many, there's too many people that are not on it. They're not sharp, they're not with it. They're brain dead, they're incompetent they're forgetful, their brains are infected, however you want to look at it, because I have never experienced this much incompetence ever in history. It's getting to a point where it's really, really starting to piss me off. It's too much. It's too much all of a sudden. So what am I talking about? Well, you might, may or may not know I did a video a few days ago about people not getting my last name correct, and this is on important things. This isn't just some frivolous stuff that it doesn't matter this is important things like car title home titles things that are important when you want to get the, the last name correct okay is if that's not bad enough so i'm having uh some floors delivered right and this guy the ups guy a van, white van shows up and i know it's for my flooring it's the covering it's the barrier there they said that they were going to have that ups so He's back there digging around in his truck looking for it forever and he can't find it. So I'm thinking, this has never happened before. What's the problem? I'm thinking to myself, why is it taking so long? He's out there, you know, as fat as a fucking porpoise. Sweat, I don't see the sweat, but I, I see him wiping sweat from his brow. And it's stupid because there's nobody out there. I'm not out there. I'm in here. I'm looking out my door. We're like at least 50 feet away and he's and he's got a... A covering on his face and I'm thinking what the hell is that for we're not I'm not even out there there's nobody out there and he's got the covering on his face and he's sweating and he's trying to look for something he never did find it and he's like sorry can't find it I'll have to come back another time I'm like yeah but I need that I'm getting my floors delivered you know so I don't know if he's gonna show up back today or to Monday or whatever but this is getting to be ridiculous so it's not just that Again, not only did the car place get my name wrong on my car title, but they also couldn't find my car title. And you may be wondering, well, why in the hell didn't you have your car title sent directly to your address? Well, that's because I was in the middle of moving. I didn't have an address at the time. I was living in a, a damn hotel, okay? And I didn't trust the hotel, and I don't, I don't want to have important documents getting lost like that. So I had it sent to the car dealer, which they said would be good. They, could, they would be able to get my car title uh, sent there. And after that, they would call me, and I'd go pick it up. So they, you know, I had to keep calling them. Basically, they, they, would never, they never called me. I knew it was going to be there. I called the DMV. They said, yeah, they, del they sent it. I called and called and called and finally they got back with me after like a week and they're like, yeah, we have it. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to be there, you know, next week. I'll call you first. I call them the next week, let them know I'm on my way. So instead of being like confident and on it and looking and getting it ready for me, they did not even bother. They waited until I was there. And then when I was there, they looked and they looked and they looked and they looked and it took them, I'm not even kidding you, at least 30 or 40 minutes. I was about ready just to walk out of there and say, see you later, I'll come back later because I don't like being in an enclosed space any longer than I absolutely have to, even if I have something covering, even if they have something covering. I'm, I'm just very, very nervous about being in an enclosed space with anybody, even just one person for any length of time whatsoever. It really, really, really pissed me off that they could not find my car title. And to, to make things even worse, I'm like, once they found it, I'm like, what are you doing? That's my title. Why are you writing on it? So I don't know if things are different here in Texas, but from wherever else I live, they've never, I've never had somebody write on my car title. It kind of made me nervous. Like I'm thinking it's my car title. It should have been sent to me. Why are they write, writing on it? So I don't know what he wrote on it. It looked like he put a date and a signature. I don't know why he, they did that, but I, I'm suspicious and it better not mess anything up when I go to sell it because if it does, it means that they're not only incompetent, they're quadruple incompetent and, and stupid and their brains are infected. And another thing that doesn't make sense to me, I see people walking around all the time like, nobody else around cover with their faces covered and i'm thinking why are they walking down a, a empty street 
with their faces covered, yet they'll get this close to you in the store when you're looking for groceries, when you're shopping. They'll, they'll come right up to you. People all the time will just come right up against you. Why? What sense does that make? If you know you're supposed to stay at least six feet apart, what sense does it make that all of a sudden, oh, as long as you're walking, it's okay, but yet if you're walking on the street and there's no one around, you gotta wear, it's like, it's all backwards, it's insane. And I'll, I'll leave with the quote. The, the sign of insanity is when you keep repeating the same thing and you expect a different result. In other words, people keep doing this where they're, they, they stay away, but they don't stay away. They wear a mask when they don't really have to, but yet they'll get up close to you in the store. Now, why is it still spreading? Well, what people are doing is all wrong. It's all wrong, okay? The mask is a barrier, sure, but it's not gonna completely stop it. If you blow smoke through a mask, what's it gonna do? It's gonna still come out, but it's gonna linger here. If you blow a smoke without a mask, it's going to come out and it's going to go, it's going to spread. So in my mind, I don't want to be anywhere near anyone ever, ever, ever. Okay. Like ever, like I don't want people walking up close behind me when I'm shopping. I don't want people approaching me when I'm in the store, when I'm asking a question, I want them to stay away. I don't want to like step up close to a cashier, even though there's a plastic barrier thing. I don't care. I, I don't want to be anywhere near that barrier that everybody's been breathing on. I stay away. I say, put the money on the counter. As soon as they put the money on the counter, I, I step up and I grab it and I step back. That's how I am. Why? Because what people are doing right now is not working. And what they're doing is everything wrong. Everything they're doing is is stupid it doesn't make sense it's it's like if you're supposed to stay this far away when you're in line what makes you think that all of a sudden just because you're walking around in a store you can get up close to someone it makes no sense and if you're outside walking down the sidewalk and there's nobody around what sense does it make to have a mask on yeah sure if you're approaching someone and they're getting closer and closer and you're walking and you see them approaching you yeah sure put a mask on but if you're just walking down the street and there's nobody in sight what the hell does that mean it's stupid. Are your brains infected or what?